running extremely late, so uh, viewers beware, you're not in for a scare. Seriously, stop thinking you're in for a scare. Good morning, sunshiners and positive sunshaders. I have to get downstairs right now. The only thing worth mentioning today uh, deals with something that I've written down on this very bright green uh, note card. Is it focus, is it focusing? There we go. So this is a uh, puzzle that we were given in math class, and we had to figure out the next couple of rows. I may have written a few more rows than we're already there. Uh, I just uh, basically the hint is um, it is not a mathematical problem. It is more an English problem. Um, stay tuned to the end of the vlog. If I remember, I will give you the answer. Anyway, so as people were figuring that out, I actually was not paying attention. I was doing another piece of homework after the uh, test that we had. And so I just look up, take one glance at the board, did not understand it, and just randomly shouts, WITCHCRAFT! And everybody starts laughing, because it was funny, because people couldn't, people were not understanding how only one person in the class and the teacher, uh, the teacher wrote it out so she knew it. But one person in the class was getting it and like listing off row after row of it, and um, <laughs> it was funny because no one understood what was going on. I just screamed witchcraft, and the teacher goes, yeah, sure, me and whatever her name is, the, the student in the class, are witches. Yeah, that's it. But eventually she told us, and then we understood. But the answer will come at the end of the vlog. Possibly even after the outro. Just to make people watch the outro. Because my parents think that because I've been playing the outro at the end of every single vlog for a while, no one watches the outro. So if you want to know the answer to uh, that, or see if you're correct, you have to write the next couple of rows. I don't care how many, but they, they have to figure out the puzzle to get the next few rows. Um, if you think you know the answer and you want to see if you're right, or if you don't know the answer and you want to see what the answer is, you're going to have to wait until after the outro. Dun, dun, dun! So my parents are downstairs with an accountant and I'm going to go see if dinner's ready. Which I'm not sure if those two things will coincide with sort of my mom said she might not finish dinner before he gets here. So let's go see because I'm kind of hungry. I know that's kind of selfish of me to see if my parents can set aside their meeting with an accountant and or financial planner or whatever and make me dinner but <clears throat> I'm a teenager, okay? Get over it. Well, my selfishness sort of paid off. Then I was ready. Um, it was good. I don't even know why I'm mentioning that I had dinner. I normally actually don't. Um, get back to homework now, so awkward. Ugh, I finally finished my homework. The one piece of... Oh yeah, I forgot to clear one part. Um, <laughs> that's awkward. Um, basically what I had was... That, which is a political cartoon for Bloody Kansas. Uh, it literally says Kansas, although so one S is in October, the A is broken, part of the N is broken, and the second S is broken in half and on fire. Um, <clears throat> yeah, so I'll just uh, finish that. Forgot that I had to color one more part of it, but uh, that I'll be done. There, now the whole thing is colored. If you didn't realize what I colored, I made the um, forefront uh, hill where the, with the word Kansas written on it gray. Um, in case you don't know what Bloody Kansas is, it was a pre-Civil War event in the Kansas Territory. Uh, the struggle of power between uh, the southern slave owners from Missouri or whatever, called Missouri Ruffians or Border Ruffians, um, and the Northern Abolitionists. And uh, so that's my political cartoon is depicting the slave owners being bad. Not saying people from the South are bad. I am saying slave owners are bad. Anyways, it's history. Literally. It's from my um, history class. So, I don't even know why I'm worried about offending anyone, because, uh, it happened a long, long time ago in a galaxy far, far away. No, wait, that's Star Wars. Uh, it happened a while ago, before the Civil War. It was one of the events, I believe, that led up to the Civil War, I think. 
Um, so yeah, now I'm going to play video games, something modern, after doing something for something ancient, or relatively ancient. Axis Civil War is kind of actually not that ancient. But Anyways, moving on to fun stuff. Not like coloring isn't fun, but homework isn't. Awkward. Yes! Halloween is almost here! <laughs> I promise I'm not insane, I just act it. Um, <laughs> I just feel really like Halloween. So, uh, good night, who's always watching this. See you tomorrow. I won't see you, but you will see me. Here I am insane. I am talking to a camera. Hmm. Do I like outro? There's a blog on the web featuring Ben Stock that he shoots every day as he walks and talks. If you're Bigfoot in the woods or producers in LA, you should stop all your shit and watch Sunshine Chain. Sunshine Chain. Sunshine Chain. Has nothing to do with Florida, but it's great. If you can't wait, don't get irate. Just stay in your sheet, cause it's Sunshine Chain. I will see you, you will see me. Oh yeah, I almost forgot. I never told you the answer to that puzzle. How many of you actually stayed for this? One, two, three, three people. Uh, okay. Basically, um, each row is the numbered version of how you would say the row before it. Like, one is one, one, making this next row being two ones. And then the third row would be two, one, and so on and so forth. So the next row after the ones I've written would be three, one, two, three, one, two, two, one, and so on and so forth. So yeah, night.